So this is Data Wrapper. Data Wrapper is an open source platform for data visualization that allows its users to generate simple, precise, and embeddable charts very quickly. This is the home page. Um, this is the free version. I created an account with a password so that I could have my um, previously edited charts saved, but you don't have to do that. So let's create a new chart. Let's click here. So the first step is to upload the data. How do you want to upload your data? There are four options. There's copy and paste data table. There's Excel CSV upload. There's import Google spreadsheet like that. So you can import that using the URL to a Google spreadsheet, or you can use the link external database which it will tell you if it's a valid URL or a valid CSV. We made an Excel file, so we're going to use Excel. Uh, we're going to use the, the file, the file that we used. All right, let's go back to... All right, so once you upload the information, just copy, or you could copy paste your data into this area. Select your data, include header, row, slash column in Excel or LibreOffice, and paste it in the text fields on the right. You can also upload a CSV or Excel file from your computer, which we just did. There are sample data, uh, data sets down here. If you want to click on, you can see. We're not going to do that right now. So once we have the data set, um, we're going to hit proceed. Step two is check and describe. Make sure the data looks right. Make, please make sure that Data Wrapper interprets your data correctly. In the data, uh, in the table number columns should be shown in blue. Yep, they're shown in blue. Dates in green, correct, the dates are in green. The text is in black. A red cell indicates missing data or a problem in your data set that needs to be fixed. Let's look for red cells. Nope, I don't see any red cells. I think we're good. Um, also, it's good to note that the first row as label, we have the first row as label, so we want that checked. If we get rid of that, it's going to just create its own. We don't want that. We want that. You can also sort by view, country, year, homicide, population. Um, there's the option to transpose rows and columns or add columns. We can add a column here. The column is added and you can actually type it in or uh, in the field or use JavaScript. You can also use available columns, correct? But we're not going to do that, so we'll remove this column. All right, everything looks good. We're going to hit proceed. And the next is the visualization. Um, because our variables change over time. We're going to use a line chart or a scatter plot to show the particular trends over time. So we need to choose a chart type. So right now we have selected lines, which looks like this. It's not great. Mm. Uh, let's see if we can redefine it and see if it looks any better. Mm. We want the horizontal axis to be year. No, that looks terrible. Let's go back to chart type. Let's go to scatter plot. Oh, that's much better. Let's use the scatter plot. Okay, so we have selected scatter plot. You can also look at archive charts, but we're not going to choose that. So, next step is refine. So, yes, we want the column to be years, correct? Uh, we could customize it. We can give it a different format. Let's do something more familiar. The position is on the bottom. The grid is on, correct? So that looks great. Vertical access is homicide, number of homicides, correct? Um, customize, we don't really need to do this right now. I mean, that looks pretty good. I would just change the format to K. There's less zeros, it looks better. 
All right, then color select. Well, we want country because we're selecting by color, a country. Um, one of the rules of visualization is that higher value should be um, warm colors like uh, reds or oranges and yellows and the lower value should be cool colors so like blue or green so let's customize the color let's do customize color and we want the top one which is the netherlands to be red let's choose a color let's choose red for the netherlands all right next france france is the next one down let's choose there's france there's france let's choose the, uh, an orange and then the next one after that is Germany. Let's choose Germany to be the next a lesser warm color, which is this one. All right, and then the one on the way bottom is Iceland. So let's make Iceland a, the dark, dark, dark blue, dark blue, okay. And then the one up from it, Slovenia, Slovenia, no? Norway. No, it's Slovenia. Well, after you get to a certain point, well, we can make this distinction by going to Norway. We're going to make that a dark, a darker blue, just to give it a little distinction if you can see it. Okay, so there are other options. You can do show color key. We don't have to show color key, but that's what it looks like. Base. Uh, can we? I don't like base. It's a good idea though. I just I, I think it's a little cluttered. Well, actually, it's a little cluttered. Let's show. Oops, sorry. If we make that one. No, we're good. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, okay. We deleted it because that, that's not bad. Um, I kind of like that. The show color key. All right. Next, we could change the size. Um, it's at five. I don't want to change five. But what is very helpful is because we, we collected the population so we can make population the variable. So we select population as the select column for the variable and it goes by size and that actually looks pretty cool. Um, the shape is a fixed shape. They're going to be circles. That's fine. Trend lines. We don't need trend lines, but it's there if you want it. All right, we're going to hit the next one, which is annotate. The title is homicides by European countries. You could add notes or description. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to add data source. We know the data source. Who created it? I created it. We're going to add that. All these things add to the bottom left of the chart. Labeling. I feel like we should label some of them. Um, so let's click on automatic labeling. Well, that's not bad. And then I also would like to add, let's add Iceland on the bottom as the, you know, cause it is the bottom. Ooh. And let's see if we can add Germany. Oops. Let's add Germany by selecting from the pull down menu. Oh no, that's way too cluttered. We're going to get rid of Germany, but I like Iceland. We'll keep Iceland. All right. Excellent. That looks pretty good. Add custom text to plot. You could add custom text to plot. You could to annotate. You could customize tooltips. We don't need to do that. Or you can add custom lines and areas. Uh, you could do that. We don't have to do that. We're going to click design. And this is the selected layout. You could do regular data wrapper layout. Where it has um, the creator and the source. 
and it was created by data wrapper or you can have uh, a data link where it has the uh, get the data link I should also point out that they have different chart size options one is for the mobile device one is for a tablet and one is for a desktop I'm gonna keep it on desktop and then there's also the colorblind check, which is this is what it looks like normally. This is a color what a colorblind person would look see. And this is another um, version of colorblindness. And this is another version of colorblindness to test to see if there uh, is diff uh, the difference is enough for a colorblind person to see. That looks fine. So yes. So now we can hit publish. And so uh, step four is publish and embed. You can publish chart, click here if you want to embed your chart in your website. I'm going to do that. It's going to create this um, URL. So this is the shareable URL in full size and normal. You can choose or you can use the um, copy embedded code for a responsive layout. Um, or you could download export a image like uh png png we can click on that this feature will generate a high resolution static image from your chart embed this in your article in case your cms doesn't allow iframes so these are the options you could do format border scale factor this is pretty good so it's going to download i'm going to click download PNG. And we can open it and see what it looks like. 